questions and, and answers of the candidates for the mayor of the city of Bismarck. And we thank uh, both Mr. Schwab and uh, Dr. Warford for being in attendance today and, and agreeing to be with us. And we'd also like to thank the uh, Bismarck <coughs> Tribune for co-hosting this event with the Chamber. And Brian Croce is the publisher here, and I'd like to acknowledge Brian. And uh, we'd like to thank Bismarck State College for providing this beautiful facility here with the uh, Basin Electric Auditorium. And we'd acknowledge President uh, Larry Scogin here today, too. Just a couple of matters of housekeeping. Um, hope everybody's had a chance to get their box lunch, and uh, you're sure welcome to have lunch while we, we have this discussion. And we'd ask everybody just to silence their, uh, their telephones over the, uh, the noon hour so there isn't any distraction for a question and answer. Mm -hmm. And we'll just give you a brief overview of what to expect uh, in the next hour. Uh, we look at this today as a conversation with our candidates who literally, uh, you know, we want to take a look at it as a job interview. Uh, both of these gentlemen come today and we'll, one of them will be our CEO and spokesperson for a $32 million operation for the next four years. And so we're looking at it much as you would a job interview. And uh, we've prepared some general chamber questions that we've uh, worked on this week uh, to bring before you, things that we've got from our uh, board and chamber members. And we've also looked through the chamber connection. Hopefully a number of you uh, as chamber members get this. We have a section in here where the candidates have answered a number of questions. We're going to try to uh, avoid those questions, but uh, there may be something that's come up in the Tribune article or, or the other that we'll be asking the candidates specifically. And uh, we'll ask them each specifically questions about their platform. And we'd ask the in the uh, question and answer part of this, we're going to try to keep the answers about two minutes to each of the questions so that we can go through a number of questions. And I'll be the stopwatch if necessary. The only exception will be that we are going to start this event with each of the candidates being able to have a five minute uh, discussion on their platform and, and their qualifications for this role. So uh, we'll start with that uh, five minute presentation. That will be followed by about 15 or 20 minutes of my questions as moderator, and then uh, about 30, 35 minutes into this, we'll open it up to you, the guests in the auditorium today, for your questions, and ask that you keep those questions brief and to the point, and don't use it as a candidate endorsement or, or a soapbox, so if you, if you would work with us on that, that would be, that would be great. And then at, after those questions are asked, we'll have a, a two-minute period for closing our, uh, comments by each of the uh, candidates. Now before uh, this meeting we had uh, a coin flip and we determined that uh, Dr. John Warford would be the first to speak on his platform, his vision and his qualifications, uh, and as why he would be best suited to lead the city of Bismarck for the next four years. Dr. Warford. Good afternoon uh, everyone and uh, thank you. A special thanks uh, to the chamber and as a chamber member myself uh, for many years I'm uh, very pleased to uh, be here today and to uh, be able to offer my ideas and thoughts uh, to you the citizens of Bismarck. It's been my honor and privilege uh, the last eight years to serve as your mayor. Uh, it's, uh, it's been pretty much a fantastic ride. Uh, through my proven leadership uh, my record really stands and it speaks for itself. Uh, Bismarck has and is uh, undergoing the largest economic growth spurt in the history of our city. Uh, you look at pretty much all sectors of our community, uh, they're doing well. Uh, if you look at, uh, for example, a retail uh, space, uh, restaurant space, over two to three million square feet of retail space the last eight years since I've been elected mayor. When I was elected mayor, Pinehurst Mall was a vacant field. Uh, we are one of the safest cities in the United States. Uh, we have a great police force of dedicated officers. We built two fire stations, or building two, we're nearly completed with the second, so that with regard to fire safety in our community, uh, we're fulfilling our master plan to keep you as citizens safe, the response times down, and also to affect your uh, fire property insurance. Uh, but when you look at the bottom line uh, with uh, growth of a community, I, I feel that the most important thing is economic development and jobs. 
And I, uh, at, at the last forum, I, uh, I apologize, I stated that uh, we uh, created, as a metro area, this is the Bismarck Manhattan Chamber of Commerce, so I'm using the metro number, I stated that we had 8,000 jobs were created in 2002 when I was first elected through the end of 2009. Sorry for the slightly crooked stand for an orthodontist. That's a little tough. Uh, but if you look at the uh, if you look at the uh, the information from Job Service North Dakota, I was wrong. We did not create uh, 8,000 jobs. We created 9,200 jobs uh, in this uh, community, and I'm very proud. I'm not taking credit for it, but uh, I was a leader of the community, uh, and uh, you of uh, the business community that's here today. Uh, business is moving in. Uh, you have uh, made this, uh, I think, uh, an economic force of the Northern Great Plains. Forbes magazine rates us the fifth best place for business and careers in the United States. And this came out uh, just a few weeks ago. Uh, in addition, uh, Moody's uh, rating service on MSNBC, what they call the Elkin Project, uh, rated us, uh, I think, of, there are 16 uh, metros in the United States still growing jobs. Uh, we're fifth on that, so we're, we're really an exception, uh, and I'm very, very proud uh, to be a part of this. In addition, uh, we have uh, had uh, many infrastructure improvements uh, in our community. I talked about the police and the fire. Through the mayors, Mayor Warford's uh, transportation task force, uh, the, uh, the Washington Street project to finally take care of Washington Street was, uh, uh, was uh, completed. Uh, Memorial Bridge, New Airport Terminal, uh, the roads and streets. Uh, we have some work with potholes to do, uh, but in general, uh, we're working strong on our infrastructure. Housing um, is, is up. Uh, we're still selling homes in Bismarck. People are buying homes. There's, there's construction. There's an overall sense. So uh, the, the, the whole business aspect of Bismarck has been great. But we cannot rest on our laurels, and that's why I'm running again, because we have a national recession or down economic downturn, and I refuse to let this downturn affect our community. And I will still uh, make a commitment to put economic development, uh, take it to our next level during the next four years if I'm elected. That will be the centerpiece, that will be the linchpin of what makes me tick as your mayor, because without jobs, there's no commerce, there's no retail, housing, uh, uh, you know, everything takes that death spiral that you see all across this country in communities that are failing and going bankrupt. Uh, in addition to economic development, I, I pledge a commitment, a, a continued commitment for what I call quality of life uh, services, police, fire, emergency services, of course. Uh, I uh, also pledge uh, to uh, have a very responsible uh, and a very careful, planned look on property taxes. Uh, I'd like to talk about property taxes a little bit today and how really our property taxes have gone down. You got your property tax statement, and uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about property taxes as, as well. Uh, in addition, infrastructure, uh, maintain that. And then finally, you want a mayor that has a vision. I've had two visionary uh, uh, exercises, so to speak, as mayor in 03 and in 08. Uh, both were mayor's committees for economic development, and I surrounded myself with a lot smarter people than I am through all sectors in our, in our community to advise me on initiatives that will make Bismarck a better place. I think when I addressed them, I asked them to, uh, the group, to what can we do to make Bismarck a destination where people want to live, uh, work, and play. And so, uh, actually, Mike Seminary, a uh, commissioner in the audience today, was the chair of that compliment Mike on his efforts. And so you want a mayor with a vision, but a mayor that also listens to the community on what the vision should be. So I have been very pleased to serve for eight years. I've got the fire, I've got the enthusiasm, I've got the passion for this community. Uh, my family lives here. I'm actually reversing out migration. One of my sons has moved back. I've got grandchildren in this community. I feel strongly about this community. I urge you to vote on June 8th, uh, and I ask for your vote. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mr. Schwab. Uh, 